Good evening, friends. Welcome to Unacademy Gate M E P I X E. How are you guys doing? Welcome, 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 Ankita. Welcome, Prem. Welcome, Dibyanshu. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, everyone. This is your educator, Aprup Rao. You are watching the lecture series of machine design. This is lecture number fifteen. We have already completed a lot of chapters. We are almost half through the halfway through the syllabus. हमने आधा सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर लिया है एंड टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग्स पार्ट वन दिस इज डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग्स पार्ट वन टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू चैप्टर डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर यू माइट गेट क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग्स मोस्टली डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग से यू माइट एक्सपेक्ट थ्योरी क्वेश्चन बट देर आर सम न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑल दो बट मोस्टली यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट थ्योरी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डिजाइन ऑफ बियरिंग्स ओके now this is a lecture series of machine design means we are going to complete the entire syllabus of machine design in this series and this is a crash course we started this crash course 100 days crash course for gate 2021 aspirants where we are going to complete entire syllabus within 100 days it was started on 1st of october if you guys remember and i started strength of materials right i have completed the entire strength of material and this is my second subject and we have almost 50 60% syllabus covered in machine design okay and in this lecture what i am going to do is i have taken machine design with earlier also but this class of machine design will include the entire theory the entire numericals and the pyqs so in this one lecture in this one lecture series you are going to get everything related to machine design so it can be your single source of preparation for machine design आप सिर्फ इस एक लेक्चर सीरीज को रेफर कर लीजिए यू ओनली रेफर दिस लेक्चर सीरीज एंड योर एंटायर मशीन डिजाइन विल बी ओवर यू डोंट नीड टू ओपन एनी अदर बुक यू डोंट इवन नीड टू ओपन एनी पीवाई क्यूज ओके एवरीथिंग विल बी कवर्ड इन द क्लास इट सेल्फ एवरीथिंग विल बी कवर्ड इन द क्लास इट सेल्फ गुड इवनिंग कल्पेश गुड इवनिंग आयुष वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम एवरी वन थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच ओके नाउ If you are watching me for the first time, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Aprup Rao, All India Rank 320. I was called for the interview of IOCL, but I never went because I wanted to join IIT Khadakpur. So I did my M Tech from IIT Khadakpur, and my specialization for M Tech was Mechanical Systems Design. In my final year of M Tech, I was recruited by Mahindra and Mahindra, and I was placed at Mahindra Research Valley, which is in Chennai. it's a r&d center of mahindra where the cars and tractors xuv kuv every vehicle of mahindra is designed at mahindra research valley so i worked there for 2 years as deputy manager and then i decided to quit my job and i started teaching so i've been teaching for more than 6 years now and i teach subjects related to design because my mtech is in design my work experience is in design so i teach subjects of design som md em and tom but this is not the reason why i am in front of you i am in front of you because of my love and passion for teaching my love for the subjects of design and if you are following my subjects regularly then i can guarantee that you will also fall in love with these subjects if you want to attend my other lectures if you want to see my other lectures if you want to download those notes then you can just refer to tinyurl.com/approve10 it's like a website just like you open facebook.com youtube.com go to your web browser and open tinyurl.com/approved10 don't search for this search mat karna google mein just type this in your web address and enter and you will open this page you can see that i have uploaded the ebooks of all the subjects i teach and i have uploaded these excel sheets i have made these excel sheets for each subject strength of material engineering mechanics machine design theory of machines every subject i have one excel sheet if you open the excel sheet then you will see that one by one all the lectures are covered here you will find the youtube class link you will find the notes you will find the dpp link dpp means daily practice problem additional problems related to that subject related to that chapter okay so you will find all these things all the classes all the pdfs in these excel sheets and these excel sheets are subject wise we have one excel sheet for som one excel sheet for md one excel sheet for tom one excel sheet for em 
and entire syllabus is covered entire syllabus 100% free of cost so this is my way of giving back to you guys okay for all the love and support from you guys okay so i have made this personally so that you don't have to search for my lectures you will find all my lectures in one place aapko mere sare lecture ek jagah mil jaye iske liye maine ye sare excel sheets banaye hain khud se aur inko upload kiya hai so i hope all of you are referring to these and i hope all of you are sharing this with your friends also right good evening brijesh good evening jitendra good evening good evening good evening welcome welcome to so, beta if you want to follow me on unacademy then just go to unacademy.com/at-the-rate-approve you will find my profile there and you can watch all my free special classes special classes are free classes on unacademy everyone can watch all you need to do is just download the unacademy app and register yourself okay so you can watch my special classes on different subjects of design i have solved all the previous year questions of gate so if you want to solve previous year questions of gate beta i have solved pyqs of em som md line by line okay all the questions of previous year questions of gate okay how will you watch them very simple just go to unacademy.com/at-the-rate-approve okay or you can download the unacademy learning app download the unacademy learning app register yourself and when you will register yourself and try to open any special class they will ask you for an invite code so use this code in order to unlock all the free plans and special classes okay if you want to see if you want to take part in unacademy combat or if you want to watch any special class then you will need this uh, invite code approved ten if you use this code you can open the special class of any educator not only mine but special class of any educator okay so beta if you are registering yourself on an academy means you are a first time learner on an academy then you will need this invite code in order to unlock my special classes okay and there is a surprise for you i have started a crash course on theory of machines on an academy special class so all the more reason to watch my special classes this is a crash course on theory of machine which started on 14th of december okay every day from monday to saturday we are having two sessions one at 2 pm and one at 3:30 pm we have completed one chapter mechanism and from tomorrow we are starting a second chapter velocity analysis so if you want to attend the classes all you need is download an academy learning app register yourself and use the code approved 10 and where you will find the links so all the links are uploaded here beta tinyurl.com/approved10 sari links yahan uploaded hain but if you want the links then you can also follow my telegram channel if you follow my telegram channel i am also uploading the links on this telegram channel theek hai to unacademy.com/at-the-rate-approve aap meri profile mein bhi ja sakte hain yahan se bhi link mil jayegi tinyurl.com se bhi link mil jayegi har jagah main link dal raha hu ताकि आप सब तक वो लिंक पहुंच जाए ओके आई एम शेयरिंग माय लिंक एवरीवेयर सो दैट यू विल नॉट मिस एनी ऑफ माय क्लासेस एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट फॉर ऑल द गेट 22 एंड 23 एस्पिरेंट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट 22 और गेट 23 देन अ वेरी गुड न्यूज फॉर यू सून वी आर लॉन्चिंग टू बैचेस इवॉल्व बैच फॉर गेट ट्वेंटी एंड असेंड बैच for gate 23 on an academy plus an academy plus so in order to attend these batches you need to take an academy subscription so don't forget to use approved 10 code in order to get the maximum discount on an academy subscription and join these two batches they are going to start from 28th of december they are going to start from 28th of december these are new batches for gate 22 there is a separate batch for gate 23 there is a separate batch okay so beta all the legendary educators on an academy will be teaching in these batches so don't forget to join these batches and don't forget to take an academy subscription using the code approved 10 okay now let's start with today's chapter so we are starting design of bearings today let's understand what do we mean by bearings so if you have a moving body in your machine then that moving body has to be supported in some type of special support 
it has to be supported by some type of special support. Otherwise, what will happen? Let's say you have a shaft. Let's say there is a shaft in your machine and that shaft is supported on a regular support. Then what is going to happen? There will be relative motion between the shaft and the support and due to this relative motion, there will be friction which is going to, which is going to decrease your torque transfer. A lot of torque will be lost due to friction. A lot of power will be lost due to friction. There will be high heat generation. There will be wear and tear on the surface of shaft. So, beta, you have shaft ko a special type ke support se support hai, right? You need a special support in order to support the shaft so that you get more friction na mile so that the friction is minimized. So, that's why we use bearings. So what are bearings? Bearings are used to support moving elements such as shaft or axle with minimum friction. Their objective is to support the shaft or axle with minimum friction. So beta, there are two objectives, there are two functions of bearings. To support the load acting on the shaft, let's say you are supporting the shaft using the bearings. So the first objective, the first function is to support the load acting on the shaft. How this load is acting on the shaft? Because you are connecting the shaft by means of some gears or by means of some belt and pulley or chain. Beta, you are connecting two shafts together. So when one shaft will try to move the second shaft, then they will apply force on each other. Let's say those two shafts are connected by means of gears. Man lo, those shafts gears are connected. So when they will move, one gear will apply force on the other gear. So all this force is transferred to what? Shaft. So shaft is carrying all this load. So this load has to be supported by means of bearings. Bearings are nothing but support. So they have to support the load of shaft. And the second and very important function is to permit the rotation of shaft with minimum friction. See, shaft has to be rotated and the bearing is static. So there will be relative motion, there will be friction, but you have to minimize that friction. Otherwise, what will happen? Whatever torque you are transferring from one shaft to another shaft, out of that torque, a lot of torque will be wasted due to friction, right? Bhot sara torque jo hai, wo to friction hi le jayega. Wo to friction ki wajah se hi loss ho jayega. To aapko to torque milega hi nahi. So that's why in order to minimize loss of torque due to friction, we have to minimize the friction. So that is the function of bearings. Now there are different types of bearings. There are different types of bearings. We will see what are the classifications of bearing. Then one by one we will see the design process of bearing. Okay. Now when it comes to the load acting on the shaft, then we can divide the load acting on the shaft in two categories. Okay. Let's say this is our shaft. Maan lo ye apni shaft hai. Okay. Let's say this is our shaft. And let's say that this is the axis of the shaft. What is this? This is the axis of the shaft. Okay. So, beta, there are two types of load acting on the shaft. One load is perpendicular to this axis. Okay. This load is known as radial load. Okay. So, let's say the shaft is circular in cross section. Thik hai. Maan lo shaft circular hai. So, beta, aisa koi bhi load jo is length ke perpendicular hai. Means this load, this load, this load, this load, this load. All these loads are what? Radial load. All these loads are what? Radial loads. Okay. But if the load is acting in this direction, in the direction of length, if the load is acting in the direction of length, in this direction, then it is known as axial load. Okay. So, agar is view mein dekhoge, if you see in this view, then this will be the axial load. And if you see in side view, then this will be the axial load. Okay. If this is your shaft, then this will be the x direction force will be axial force y direction and z direction forces will be radial forces okay so you need to know which one is radial force and which one is axial force now why i am saying this is in case of bearings in case of bearings we need to know whether the bearing has to support the radial load or axial load or both in some cases there is only radial load acting on the shaft in some cases, there is only axial load acting on the shaft 
and in some cases there is both radial load as well as axial load acting on the shaft. Now beta, there are some bearings which can only support radial load. There are some bearings which can only support axial load and there are some bearings which can support both. So you need to know which type of load is acting on the shaft. Based on that you will choose your bearing. If only radial load is acting then I will choose this bearing. If only axial load is acting then I will choose this bearing. Okay. So do you understand now why I am telling you which one is radial load and which one is axial load? Yes. Chalo. Now bearings are of different types but we can classify the bearings in two ma major categories. Okay. We can divide the bearings in two major categories. Rolling contact bearings and sliding contact bearings. Okay. Earlier we used to classify the bearings based on the type of load. Radial load bearing and axial load bearing. But what happened is a lot of times bearings can support both type of load. Radial load as well as axial load. Then in that case that bearing will be which type of bearing. So that's why in order to avoid that confusion what we did was we classified the bearing, we divided the bearings into these two categories. Radial co rolling contact bearings and sliding contact bearings. Now what do we mean by rolling contact? Peter, there are two types of relative motion. When it comes to shaft, there can be two types of relative motion. Let's say this is the shaft and this is a surface. If the shaft is moving like this, then this is known as what? Rolling. If the shaft is moving like this, then this is known as rolling. And if the shaft is moving like this, then this is known as sliding. So these are the two types of motion. Okay, rolling motion and sliding motion. So if, if between the contacting surface, contacting surface means the surface of shaft and the surface of bearing. If there is rolling contact, between the shaft and the bearing surface, then it is known as rolling contact bearing. Agar dono ke surface ke beech mein rolling motion ho raha hai, then it is known as rolling contact bearing. And if the contact between the shaft surface and bearing surface is sliding, then it is known as sliding contact bearing. If the motion between shaft surface and bearing surface is sliding motion, then it is known as sliding contact bearings. Okay. So there are two categories of bearing, rolling contact bearing and sliding contact bearing based on the type of relative motion between the shaft surface and the bearing surface. Now examples of rolling contact bearings are ball bearings. So you can see there is a ball bearing here. You can see that this is your shaft which is rotating. Okay. This is the bearing surface. Okay. And you can see that there are balls between the shaft and bearing. Shaft or bearing surface jo hai, wo aapas mein directly touch nahi kar rahe. The shaft surface and bearing surface are not touching each other. There are balls between the shaft surface and bearing surface. Thik hai? Dono ke beech mein balls lage hai. So when I will rotate the shaft, then the shaft surface will roll on these balls. Okay. Jo shaft ka surface hai, wo in balls pe roll karega. So there will be rolling motion between the shaft surface and the bearing surface. Okay. So this is a type of rolling contact bearing. Now the example of sliding contact bearings are journal bearings in which there are no balls or rollers between shaft and bearing. They are touching each other directly. So when the shaft will start to rotate in the bearing surface, there will be sliding motion. Let's say this is the bearing surface, this is the shaft. So when it will rotate, there will be sliding motion between the shaft surface and the bearing surface. Okay. So do you understand the meaning of rolling contact bearings and sliding contact bearings? Both have their own advantage and disadvantage. Dono ke apne apne advantage or disadvantage hai. Theek hai? To jaha aapko rolling contact bearing use karna hai, where you need to use rolling contact bearing, you will use this bearing. Where you need to use sliding contact bearing, you will use this bearing. Okay. So both have their own advantage and disadvantage. Both have their own applications. Okay. In some application, we will use this one. In some application, we will use this one. Okay. So Peter, let's understand one by one the design process of rolling contact bearings and sliding contact bearing. Now understand 
the design process of both these bearings is completely different. Why? Understand this. In case of rolling contact bearing, the motion between shaft and bearing surface is rolling motion. So that's why the friction is also rolling friction and rolling friction is very less compared to sliding friction. The wear and tear is less, the heat generation is less. That's why there is very little lubrication needed in these types of bearing. Technically, there is no lubrication needed in this type of bearing. But in case of sliding motion, due to this sliding action, the friction is very high. And if the friction is very high, wear and tear will be high, heat generation will be high. So that's why in order to reduce all that, in order to reduce the friction, we need to use lubrication. And in case of sliding contact bearing, the entire design process is based on this lubrication. But in case of rolling contact bearing, there is no lubrication. So that's why here, lubrication, friction, they don't play major role in the design of bearing. In fact, there is no role of friction in the design of rolling contact bearing. Why? Because the friction is almost negligible, very less friction in case of rolling contact bearing. That's why the design process does not involve friction. But the friction in sliding contact bearing is very high. That's why the entire design process is based on friction. Sab kuch friction pe hi dependent hai. Everything is dependent on friction only. Okay. So that's why the design of rolling contact bearing is entirely different. Design of sliding contact bearing is entirely different. The concepts in both cases are completely different. So we can divide the entire chapter of bearings into two parts. In one part, we will study design of rolling contact bearings. And in one part, we will study the design of sliding contact bearings. So today we are going to start design of rolling contact bearing. Now make sure that, uh, sorry, understand this. Although the equations of bearings and all are very complicated, but from exam point of view, this chapter is very easy. There's not a lot of things you need to remember in this chapter, okay? बहुत सारी चीजें याद करने के लिए नहीं है बहुत छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं याद करने के लिए वेरी स्मॉल थिंग्स ओके इट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल चैप्टर इफ यू कंसीडर गेट अगर गेट के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से देखा जाए तो बहुत आसान चैप्टर है इट्स अ वेरी इजी चैप्टर फ्रॉम द गेट पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके एंड देयर आर नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ फार्मूला ओके ओनली 3 4 फार्मूला इन द एंटायर चैप्टर ऑफ बियरिंग्स यू ओनली नीड टू रिमेंबर देम एंड यू कैन सॉल्व एनी प्रॉब्लम्स वेरी इजीली ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद Design of rolling contact bearings. Okay, so understand what is rolling contact bearing. So in case of rolling contact bearing, there is rolling motion between the fixed and the moving surface. Fixed surface means the surface of bearing. Moving surface means the surface of shaft. So shaft surface and bearing surface ke beech mein, what type of motion is there? Rolling motion is there. Okay, now there are two types of friction beta. There are two types of friction. What are the two types of friction? There are starting friction and there are running friction. Starting friction and running friction means what? See, they are not types of friction, but there are friction in different times. During the starting of the machine, the friction is different and during the running condition, friction is different. Understand? Okay, understand. Otherwise, you will not understand this term. Okay, so that's why I want you to understand what is running friction and starting friction. Okay, so let's say you have a machine. Okay, if you turn on the machine, then it will not immediately go to its running speed. Let's say the machine runs at 1000 RPM. Man lo, aapki jo machine hai, jo bhi kaam hai, 1000 RPM mein machine chalti hai. Okay, so when you will start the engine, it will not directly go to 1000 RPM. It will start from 0 RPM. And slowly it will re reach to 1000 RPM. So initially the speed is very less. And after that the speed will become 1000 RPM running speed. So in some cases what we see is that initially during initial period the friction is very high compared to the running period. Why that will happen that I will uh, explain you later. Okay. Aisa kyun hota hai mein baad mein batahunga. So, beta, there are two types of friction, starting friction and running friction, okay. During the starting time, friction is different. During running time, friction is different, okay. Now, in case of rolling contact bearing, 
there is low starting as well as running friction. Starting friction is also very low and running friction is also very low. Hence, they are also known as anti-friction bearings. Inka friction itna kam hota hai, the friction value is very very less, negligible. That's why they are known as anti-friction bearings. Now you might get question based on this beta. Okay, they will give you a lot of bearing. They will ask you which one of them is anti-friction bearing. Okay, so all the rolling contact bearings are known as anti-friction bearing. Why? Because the value of friction, starting friction as well as running friction is very low. Okay. But they are more noisy at high speed. Okay, if you increase the speed too much, then they make a lot of noise. And their initial cost is also very high. That's why we can't use them in every application. Suppose you need only this much bearing, then you can afford rolling contact bearing. But if you need this much bearing, then if you make a rolling contact bearing beta, it will be a huge loss because the initial cost is very high. Manufacturing cost, initial cost is very high. Okay. The maintenance cost is very less. Once you purchase cont uh, rolling contact bearing, then the maintenance cost is almost negligible. Okay, the maintenance cost in sliding contact bearing is high, but their initial cost is very low. So that's why, beta, from cost point of view, sliding contact bearings are preferred because their cost is less. The cost of rolling contact bearing is very high. Okay, so do you understand the advantage and disadvantage of this bearing? Advantage is very less friction, very, very less friction. Disadvantage is noisy at high speeds and very high initial cost. Okay. Now, where these types of bearings are used? So, you might have seen ball bearings, right? In your bicycle, you might have seen ball bearings. Then in fidget spinner, have you played with fidget spinner? Uh, a while ago, they were very popular, right? They were very popular. Everyone in country was using a fidget spinner, right? But after two, three months, the trend was gone. Do teen mahine mein wo trend chala gaya, right? So, beta fidget spinner have ball bearing inside them. That's why their friction is very less. That's why if you start rotating them, they will keep on rotating because friction is so less that their reduction in speed takes place at very slow rate. Friction itna kam hota hai ki jo speed ka reduction hai wo bahut dheere hota hai. So, ek bar ghuma ho gaya to chakri type ghoomta rehta hai, ghoomta rehta hai, ghoomta rehta hai. Okay, so that is ball bearing okay and as a agar aap dekhe, being a mechanical engineer if you see then their application is in automobile front and rear axles okay axles and shaft me kya difference what is the difference between shaft and axle shaft means which transfers the power axle means it is a type of shaft which does not transfer the power it just rotates but it doesn't transfer the power from one place to another place okay ये एक चीज एक जगह से दूसरी जगह ये किसी एलिमेंट को पावर ट्रांसफर नहीं करता इट डज नॉट ट्रांसफर पावर टू सम एलिमेंट इट जस्ट रोटेट्स इटसेल्फ ओके सो बेटा अगर फ्रंट या रियर में कोई एक्सेल है देन वी यूज बॉल बियरिंग्स देन गियर बॉक्स गियर बॉक्स में बॉल बियरिंग यूज होते हैं स्मॉल साइज इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर्स में बॉक्स बॉल बियरिंग्स आर यूज टूल स्पिंडल्स यूज बॉल बियरिंग्स ओके सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ rolling contact bearings okay so i hope it is clear what are the advantage disadvantage important points of rolling contact bearing right now let's understand the construction of rolling contact bearing so a typical rolling contact bearing consists of three major parts teen sabse major part sabse zaruri part hote hain okay what are those three major part this is the inner ring this is the outer ring and these are the rolling elements तीन मेजर पार्ट क्या है एक इनर रिंग आउटर रिंग एंड बिटवीन इनर एंड आउटर रिंग देर आर रोलिंग एलिमेंट्स विच नीड टू रोल ओके ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ इनर एंड आउटर रिंग दे नीड टू रोल ओके सो बेटा इनर रिंग इज कनेक्टेड टू द शाफ्ट ओके इनर रिंग इज कनेक्टेड टू द शाफ्ट सो इनर रिंग रोटेट्स विद द शाफ्ट दिस इनर रिंग इज अ रोटेटिंग पार्ट एंड आउटर रिंग इज कनेक्टेड टू द फिक्सड सपोर्ट जो भी फिक्स्ड सपोर्ट है आउटर रिंग उसमें जाके फंसेगी सो बेटा दिस पार्ट इज स्टेशनरी ओके दिस पार्ट इज रोटेटिंग दिस पार्ट इज स्टेशनरी एंड बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस पार्ट देर आर रोलिंग एलिमेंट्स नाउ इन सम रेयर केसेस दिस पार्ट कैन रोटेट एंड दिस पार्ट कैन रिमेन स्टेशनरी ओके बट इन वन बट वन ऑफ देम विल बी रोटेटिंग वन ऑफ देम विल बी स्टेशनरी यूजली इनर पार्ट इज रोटेटिंग आउटर पार्ट इज स्टेशनरी ओके 
So this outer ring is known as outer race and this inner ring is known as inner race. Okay. Now, if you explode them, agar aap unko pura khol ke, if you watch one at each and every element, then it will look like this. Okay. This is the exploded view. It is known as exploded view. So you can see that this is the outer race. This is the inner race and there is groove cut in the inner race. Kya aap dekh sakte ho, yaan pe kuch aisa groove bana hua hai. What do we mean by groove? Inner race mein kuch is tarike ka groove bana hua hai. Okay, you can see this is a groove. Why there is a groove? Because we need to fit a ball in this groove. Humko is groove mein ball rakhna hai. Okay, we need to fit a ball in this groove. We need to place a ball in this groove. So that's why we need groove. Okay. Kuch is tarike se ball rakhni hai is mein. To isi le aise grooves kate hoi. Okay, so there is a groove in inner race. Okay, outer surface of inner race. And there is a groove in inner surface of outer race. ठीक है? Inner surface में भी यहाँ पे भी देखो कुछ groove कटा हुआ है. ऐसा groove कटा हुआ है. ठीक है? So between these two grooves, the ball is fitted. Okay? Now, if you place the balls directly between these grooves, then what will happen? When the bearings will start rotating, these balls will start hitting each other. Right? जब ये घूमना चालू करेगा, अगर मैंने ऐसी balls रख दिए, if I directly put the balls, then what will happen? The balls will start hitting each other. So we need to maintain the distance between the balls. So that's why we use a cage or also known as retainer. Okay, you can see this is the cage in which the balls are fitted first. Pehle isme hum balls place karte hai. You can see this is the cage. Okay. This is the cage. Okay, this golden part is known as the cage. So the balls are first fitted in the cage. And then they are placed between inner race and outer race. So that when the inner race will rotate. Jab inner race rotate karega. Then the distance between the balls will be maintained. They will not hit each other. Okay. So this is the application of cage. Okay. You might get question based on this. Iske upar question aa chuka hai. There is a question. What is the application of cage? Why the cage is used? So it is used to maintain the distance between the balls. Okay. And then in some cases we use this these two sealants okay we use these two sealants why these sealants are used because if we don't use sealants then there might be contamination okay foreign particles might get inside the bearing and if foreign particles gets in, get uh, inside the bearing then what will happen beta there will be there will be scratches on the surface okay when it will start rotating due to those foreign particles there will be scratches there will be erosion so in order to avoid that, in order to avoid the contamination due to foreign particles, we use these sealants so that the bearing will be sealed and nothing will get inside it. Okay. So beta, kuch cases mein hum sealants bhi use kar sakte hain. But majorly, these are the parts. Outer race, inner race, balls, which are the rolling elements and retainer. Okay. Now, there are two types of rolling elements. There are two types of rolling elements. There are two types of rolling elements. Okay, what are the two types of rolling elements? Balls and rollers. What do we mean by balls and rollers? Balls ka matlab kya hai mere bhai? Balls means spherical rolling element. Okay, balls ka matlab spherical rolling element hai. Kuch is tarike ka. Okay, it's spherical in shape. And roller bearing matlab, roller ka matlab kya hai? Roller means cylindrical shape. Like this, okay. Both can roll about their own axis, both can roll, okay. This can also roll, cylinders can also roll, and spheres can also roll, okay. What will be the difference between them? 
when will you use ball bearing when will you use roller bearing understand in case of ball bearing the contact between the ball and the surface of inner race and outer race is point contact theek hai ball bearing ke case mein jo contact hota hai point contact hota hai and in case of roller bearing the contact is line contact okay ab jitna zyada contact jitna zyada contact उतना ज्यादा लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी द मोर विल बी द कॉन्टैक्ट द मोर विल बी द लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी राइट द मोर विल बी द कॉन्टैक्ट द मोर विल बी द लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी द लेस विल बी द कॉन्टैक्ट द लेस विल बी द लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ओके सो द रोलर रोलर बियरिंग विल हैव मोर लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी कंपेयर टू बॉल बियरिंग बट इफ द कॉन्टैक्ट इज मोर फ्रिक्शन विल ऑल्सो बी मोर so the friction in roller bearing is also more compared to ball bearing okay so beta there is some advantage there is also some disadvantage of roller bearing what is the advantage of roller bearing load carrying capacity is more why more area and what is the disadvantage friction high friction why again more area zyada area se load carrying capacity bhi bad rahi hai more area means more load carrying capacity as well as more friction फ्रिक्शन भी बढ़ रहा है लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी भी बढ़ रही है तो एडवांटेज है तो डिसएडवांटेज भी है सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर नीड यू कैन यूज बॉल बियरिंग और यू कैन यूज रोलर बियरिंग ठीक है व्हाट इज योर नीड इफ योर लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी इज लेस इफ यू नीड लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी लेस यू कैन यूज बॉल बियरिंग बट इफ यू नीड स्लाइटली हायर लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी यू नीड रोलर बियरिंग ओके सो बेटा देयर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रोलिंग कांटेक्ट बियरिंग आल्सो बॉल बियरिंग एंड roller bearing okay types of ball bearing up types of rolling contact bearing so beta ball bearing and roller bearing ye do types hain is case mein balls are there okay point contact so less load carrying capacity बट लेस फ्रिक्शन ठीक है और रोलर बियरिंग में लाइन कॉन्टैक्ट हाई लोड कैरिंग कैपेसिटी बट हाई फ्रिक्शन So that is the difference between ball bearing and roller bearing. Okay, if you are using balls, it's a ball bearing. If you are using rollers, it's a roller bearing. Okay. Now there are different types of ball bearings and different types of roller bearings also. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Please hit the like button. Those of you who are live, जो लोग भी live हैं अभी के अभी like button दबा दो. अभी के अभी share भी कर दो. Okay. Please hit the like button right now. and also please share the link with your friends theek hai main dekh raha hu din bar din din bar din attendance kam hoti ja rahi hai aisa lag raha hai jaise ki log padhne mein interested nahi hai aur ye cheez nahi feel honi chahiye mere bhai ye cheez nahi feel honi chahiye it doesn't feel like it should not feel like people are not interested right because we are putting our blood and sweat in these classes in these lectures okay so that's why we want all of you guys to be interested so please watch these lectures live okay don't watch the recorded lectures buddy but how you are, how will i know how many people are watching my lectures only if you guys are live right and when i am taking the lecture if i see people live if i see people attending these lectures live then my enthusiasm my energy levels automatically get high mere energy level jo hai wo pura aap logon pe dependent hai mere bhai तो इसीलिए लाइव लेक्चर अटेंड किया करो ठीक है अपने दोस्तों को भी शेयर किया करो शेयर करो शेयर करो शेयर करो शेयर नहीं करोगे तो कैसे चलेगा शेयरिंग इज कैरिंग कितने बार बताना पड़ेगा ऐसा लग रहा है सबके सब लालची हो गए राइट ऐसा लग रहा है सबके सब लालची हो गए मेरे भाई विशाल मैं बार बार अपने पिछले महीने के वीडियोज पे व्यूज नहीं देखूंगा ना तुम भी यार अजीब टाइप से बात कर रहे हो मतलब विशाल वॉन्ट्स मी टू चेक माई व्यूज एवरी ओके पिछले छह महीने से जो भी मैंने क्लास ली है वो सारे के सारे वीडियोस के रोज बैठ के मैं व्यूज चेक करूं कि कितने बच्चे आ, मेरे वीडियोस देख रहे हैं कितने बच्चे इंटरेस्टेड हैं तो ये चीज पॉसिबल नहीं है ना एक बार मैंने वीडियो बनाया उसके बाद 
कौन देख रहा है कौन नहीं देख रहा है वो मुझे कैसे पता चलेगा इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू ट्रैक डाउन ईच एंड एवरी वीडियो राइट सो हु इज वॉचिंग लाइव आई विल ओनली सी दैट ठीक है जो बच्चे लाइव देख रहे हैं मुझे सर सिर्फ वही पता चलेगा सिर्फ मुझे वही पता चलेगा और मुझे वहीं से अंदाजा होगा हाउ मेनी पीपल आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दीज वीडियो ओके तो इसीलिए मैं चाहता हूं कि ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चे लाइव अटेंड करें ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चे लाइव आकर बैठे ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चों की अटेंडेंस लगे ज्यादा से ज्यादा बच्चे मुझसे इंटरेक्ट करें हियर यू कैन इंटरेक्ट विथ मी इन द लाइव चैट हियर यू कैन इंटरेक्ट विथ मी इन द लाइव चैट यस यस लाइव देखने में ही फील है मेरे भाई यस yes, लाइव देखने में ही फील है लाइव देखोगे तभी तो लगेगा कि हम लोग आमने सामने बैठे हैं राइट वेन यू आर लाइव आई एम कॉलिंग योर नेम आयु स्वप्निल विशाल अखिलेश देन यू विल फील लाइक वी आर सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ इच अदर राइट देन यू विल फील लाइक वी आर सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ इच अदर यस 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 थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच ओके चलो तो बॉल बियरिंग रोलर बियरिंग ये क्लियर है Types of rolling contact bearing. Now, ball bearing and roller bearings have also different types. According to different applications, there are different types of ball bearing, different types of roller bearing. ठीक है? Because in every application the need is different. In some application we need a bearing which which can support radial load. In some application we need a bearing which can support axial load. In some application we need a bearing which can support both the loads. So there are different needs. and depending upon the needs there are different types of bearings okay so beta it is very important for us to know that what is the characteristic what is the special thing about each and every bearing as an engineer and as a gate aspirant both as an engineer means practically also if you get into some r&d then you might you must know that this type of bearing is used in this application this type of bearing is used in this application and as a gate aspirant also you might get questions they will give you four bearings they will give you four application and they will ask you match the following okay so that's why that's why you need to understand what is the special characteristic of each and every bearing okay you don't need to memorize anything aapko kuch yaad karne ki zarurat nahi hai you just understand what is the speciality of that bearing and it will be easily memorized theek hai aapko ratne ki zarurat nahi padegi agar aap samajh jao कि हाँ ये स्पेशलिटी है इस बियरिंग की तो अपने आप वो याद रहेगा ठीक है सो ऑल वी नीड इज अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दिस बियरिंग डस ओके ये बियरिंग करता क्या है ये समझना है ओके सो बेटा वी विल सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉल बियरिंग देन वी विल सी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रोलर बियरिंग सो वेल लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टाइप्स ऑफ बॉल बियरिंग ओके सो देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ बॉल बियरिंग डीप ग्रूफ एंगुलर कॉन्टेक्ट सेल्फ अलाइनिंग एंड थ्रस्ट वन बाय वन आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ईच एंड एवरी बियरिंग We will see the characteristic of that bearing. ठीक है हम हर एक bearing की characteristic समझेंगे Okay, so let's first talk about the deep groove ball bearing. Okay, but before that, I will drink some water. गला सूख जाता है ऐसे चिल्ला चिल्ला के right? आत्मा तृप्त हो जाती है पानी पी के Oh, thank you so much for your patience. so we will now start with deep groove ball bearing okay the first type of ball bearing is deep groove ball bearing now understand what do we mean by deep groove deep groove ball bearing means this is the groove right this is the groove the depth of is this groove is higher than usual usually jitni depth hoti hai usse zyada hai now what will be the advantage of this if the grooves have high depth then you can put large size balls and if you put large size balls that means the load carrying capacity of this bearing is higher than usual okay so beta what is the characteristic the first characteristic that you need to know is due to large size balls due to large size balls load carrying capacity is high ab ye mat puchna kitni high okay because there is not uh, you don't need to you don't need to understand the quantity how much high you just need to understand that usually usually whatever load carrying capacity you get in case of ball bearing in case of deep groove ball bearing 
the load carrying capacity is slightly higher. Why? Because of the deep grooves, you can put large size balls. Okay. The second characteristic is, which is very important, this bearing can support radial load as well as axial load. Okay. Ye jo bearing hai, aisa design kiya gaya hai, that it can support radial load as well as axial load. Okay. Chuki is ki depth zada hai, grooves ki depth zada hai. See, understand beta. When you will apply axial load, usually what happens, the balls do not have support in this direction. Okay. The balls have support in this direction. This direction mein to balls mein support hai. But this direction se force lagaya, to balls mein support nahi rehta hai. Okay. Understand. This is the groove. And let's say this is the ball. Okay. So if you apply load in this direction, then though the ball has support. But if you apply load in this direction, then usually the balls do not have support, right? If you apply too much load, the ball will come out, okay? But in case of deep groove, agar groove deep hai, agar groove deep hai, then kya hota hai mere bhai? Then in that case, if you apply load in this direction, then also it can support load, okay? Then also it can support load, but, but that load carrying capacity is less. Is direction mein jo load carrying capacity hai, that is less, okay? So understand, it can support, it can support both radial and axial load. So this is a very important point that you need to understand, theek hai? Ye bohat important hai samajna that it can support radial load as well as axial load, okay? But its radial load carrying capacity is higher than axial load carrying capacity, theek hai? So beta, in case of bearings which can support radial as well as axial load, we calculate this ratio FR by FA, okay? So FR by FA in this case is greater than 1, theek hai? Is case mein jo FR by FA ratio hota hai, radial load by axial load, that is greater than 1, theek hai? So, beta, this is the characteristic of deep groove ball bearing. You need to understand these things, okay? First, you need to understand due to large size balls, its load carrying capacity is slightly higher, okay? And second thing you need to understand that it can support both radial as well as axial load and FR by FA is greater than 1, okay? So, this is the first type of ball bearing which is deep groove ball bearing. The second type of ball bearing is known as angular contact ball bearing. Now understand a very beautiful concept. In case of angular contact ball bearing, what happens? Okay. So you can see that in case of angular contact ball bearing, the grooves are not usual. Grooves ka shape jo hai, that is not usual. It has an unusual shape. Can you see? Can you see? This is the shape of groove. Look at the shape of groove here. It is symmetric. Okay. And look at the shape of groove here. It is unsymmetric. So if you see that in this case, the axis of contact is vertical. Okay. The contact takes place along this vertical axis. But here, the contact takes place along a, along an inclined plane along this line jo contact hoga wo is line mein is axis mein hoga okay so this is an angular contact ball bearing this is an angular contact ball bearing now understand what happens in case of angular contact ball bearing okay so this is the axis of contact this is known as contact angle okay now understand if the contact is taking place along this axis then the reaction between the ball and this surface will also be along this axis, right? The reaction aega, the reaction force, the reaction force will also be along this surface, along this axis, right? Yaha pe jo reaction force aega, 
इट विल बी अलॉन्ग दिस एक्सेस बट यहां जो रिएक्शन फोर्स आएगा इट विल बी अलॉन्ग दिस एक्सेस नाउ दिस रिएक्शन ओनली इज सपोर्टिंग द लोड ये रिएक्शन ही तो लोड सपोर्ट कर रहा है ना वॉट एवर द रिएक्शन इज दिस सपोर्ट इज दिस वॉट एवर द रिएक्शन इज दैट रिएक्शन इज ओनली सपोर्टिंग द लोड राइट दैट रिएक्शन ओनली सपोर्टिंग द लोड राइट सो बेटा इन दिस केस द रिएक्शन इज इनक्लाइन सो दिस रिएक्शन विल हैव एन एक्सीएल कॉम्पोनेंट एज वेल एज रेडियल कॉम्पोनेंट राइट इस रिएक्शन का एक एक्सीएल कॉम्पोनेंट भी होगा और एक रेडियल कॉम्पोनेंट भी होगा दैट मीन्स दिस बियरिंग दिस बियरिंग कैन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट दिस बियरिंग कैन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट रेडियल लोड एज वेल एज एक्सीएल लोड ठीक है ब्रिजेश इज आस्किंग मी टू एक्सप्लेन रेडियल एंड एक्सीएल लोड विच आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ बियरिंग I already explained what is radial load, what is axial load, but Bridges does not watch the initial few minutes. He directly skips to 15-20 minutes. That's why he did not see that I have already explained the radial load and axial load. क्या कर सकते हैं Bridges? I'm sorry for that. आपको शुरू में वीडियो देखने की 15-20 मिनट का वीडियो आपको देखने की आदत नहीं है. तो radial load and axial load. ठीक है? Radial load क्या है? Axial load क्या है? मैं already समझा चुका हूँ. Okay. Now If this reaction is at some angle, we are getting radial as well as axial support. So this can also support radial load as well as axial load. Okay. Due to angular contact, it can support. Radial. and axial load okay and beta yahan pe jo fr by fa ratio hai here the fr by fa ratio is less than 1 theek hai to yahan pe we can adjust this contact angle and we can adjust the values of fr fa so we design this in such a way that fr by fa is लेस देन वन ठीक है एफ आर बाय एफ ए जो है वो वन से कम होता है ओके सो बोथ कैन सपोर्ट रेडियल एज वेल एज एक्सएल लोड दिस कैन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट एफ आर एंड एफ ए दिस कैन ऑल्सो सपोर्ट एफ आर एफ ए बट हियर एफ आर बाय एफ ए इज ग्रेटर देन वन हियर एफ आर बाय एफ ए इज लेस देन वन दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डीप ब्रू एंड एंगुलर कॉन्टैक्ट बॉल बेरिंग बोथ कैन सपोर्ट रेडियल लोड एज वेल एज एक्सएल लोड ठीक है दोनों रेडियल लोड भी उठा सकते हैं एक्सीएल लोड भी उठा सकते हैं ठीक है जब मैं गियर पढ़ाऊंगा तो वहां मैं बताऊंगा कौन से गियर के केस में रेडियल लोड आता है कौन से गियर के केस में एक्सीएल लोड आता है कौन से गियर के केस में दोनों आता है व्हेन आई विल टीच गियर्स सी गियर्स आर माउंटेड ऑन शाफ्ट्स ओके सो इट विल डिपेंड अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ गियर व्हाट लोड विल बी एक्टिंग ऑन द शाफ्ट वेदर इट विल बी रेडियल लोड वेदर इट विल बी एक्सीएल लोड और बोथ ओके सो बेटा इन केस ऑफ स्पर गियर देयर इज ओनली रेडियल लोड बट इन केस ऑफ हेलिकल गियर there is radial as well as axial load so i will explain that in design of gears okay so don't worry about radial and axial load theek hai brijesh don't worry about radial and axial load don't worry about radial and axial load radial or axial load main samjhaunga gears ke case mein samjhaunga to wahan aapko samajh mein aa jayega ki in which bearings we need radial load in which bear, sorry in which case we need radial load in which case we get axial load in which case we get both theek hai chalo नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ बियरिंग इज नोन एज सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बियरिंग अब सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बियरिंग का मतलब क्या होता है अंडरस्टैंड अंडरस्टैंड सी दिस बियरिंग दिस बियरिंग हैज एन इनर रिंग विच कैन अलाइन इट ये इनर रिंग जो है ये रोट आउटर रिंग के रिस्पेक्ट में रोटेट करके अपने आप को अलाइन कर सकता है ओके इफ यू वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स वर्किंग यू जस्ट गूगल सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बियरिंग एंड यू कैन वॉच हाउ इट कैन टर्न हाउ इट कैन अलाइन इट ओके नाउ व्हाट इज मिस अलाइनमेंट हाउ इट कैन अलाइन इट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके लेट्स से दिस इज द बियरिंग सरफेस ठीक है बहुत ज्यादा बड़ा बन गया यस नाउ इट इज कूल
let's say it is a bearing okay and inside this bearing there is shaft inside this bearing there is shaft okay if the shaft is like this then it is perfectly aligned ठीक है अगर shaft ऐसा है अगर shaft ऐसा है then it is perfectly aligned you can see that the axis of both the shaft and the bearing is perfectly aligned ठीक है the axis of both shaft and bearing is perfectly aligned but okay but let's say let's say that that is not the case मान लो ऐसा नहीं हो रहा है मान लो ऐसा नहीं हो रहा है लेट्स से दैट इज नॉट द केस एंड लेट्स से द शाफ्ट गेट्स मिस अलाइन अब मिस अलाइनमेंट का मतलब क्या है जो शाफ्ट है कुछ ऐसा हो जाता है दिस इज नोन एज वॉट मिस अलाइनमेंट ओके सो दिस इज परफेक्टली अलाइंड शाफ्ट ओके एंड दिस इज मिस अलाइंड शाफ्ट सो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट डू वी मीन बाय मिस अलाइनमेंट आपको अब समझ में आया मिस अलाइनमेंट का मतलब क्या है जो शाफ्ट है इफ द एक्सेस ऑफ द शाफ्ट एंड एक्सेस ऑफ द बियरिंग आर परफेक्टली मैचिंग विथ ईच अदर देन दिस इज नोन एज परफेक्ट अलाइनमेंट बट इफ द एक्सेस ऑफ द शाफ्ट इज स्लाइटली इंक्लाइंड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द एक्सेस ऑफ द बियरिंग सर्फेस देन इट विल बिकम मिस अलाइन शाफ्ट नाउ वाई द मिस अलाइनमेंट टेक्स प्लेस अंडरस्टैंड मिस अलाइनमेंट क्यों हो रहा है इसको बहुत ही आसानी से समझ सकते हैं ठीक है लेट्स से दिस इज माय शाफ्ट लेट्स से दिस इज माय शाफ्ट ओके दिस इज द बियरिंग अभी मैं ऐसे शॉर्ट में बना दे रहा हूं ओके लेट्स से दिस इज द शाफ्ट दिस इज द बियरिंग and i am applying a huge load on this shaft then what will happen beta due to this load this shaft is going to bend right due to this load the shaft is going to bend like this the shaft is going to bend like this okay and if the shaft bends like this if the shaft bends like this then you will no notice that the axis of the shaft will become misaligned hai na ab misalignment ho gayi na पहले when there was no deflection, it was perfectly aligned. But if the deflection is huge, then it will become misaligned, है ना? ये देखो end में ये तेड़ा हो जाएगा, misalignment हो जाएगी, ठीक है? तो tolerance की वजह से भी misalignment हो सकता है. The misalignment can take place due to tolerance also, and the misalignment can take place due to deflection also. Okay? So under this misalignment, what happens if there is misalignment? Then the contact between the shaft and the bearing Will not be perfect. यहाँ पे देखो perfect contact, perfect contact between shaft and bearing surface. Okay, but here बेटा you can see that the contact at some places will be high. So from this surface, the wear and tear will also become high. ठीक है? इस surface से in points से wear and tear भी ज़्यादा होने लगेगा. एक surface पे बहुत ज़्यादा contact, दूसरे surface पे है ही नहीं. यहाँ पे equally distributed contact. Okay, but here the contact at some places will become more. so the wear and tear from that places will become more okay so that's why we don't want this case we don't want this case we want this shaft to be aligned with the surface of the bearing so what happens is this case in this case self aligning ball bearing the bearing surface can align itself okay ye wala jo inner ring hai this can align itself with respect to the misalignment of the shaft so that there is perfect contact between this and the shaft shaft aur iske beech mein perfect contact bana rahega kyunki when the shaft will rotate like this when the shaft will rotate like this the inner race will also rotate like this hai na wo iske sath hi rotate kar jayega 
तो हमेशा दोनों के बीच में परफेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट बना रहेगा हमेशा दोनों के बीच में परफेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट बने देर विल ऑलवेज बी परफेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन द इनर रेस एंड द शाफ्ट ओके देर विल बी ऑलवेज परफेक्ट कॉन्टेक्ट सो इन केस ऑफ मिस अलाइनमेंट यू कैन यूज सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बियरिंग ओके अब यहां पे आप देख सकते हो इन केस ऑफ सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बियरिंग टू रोज ऑफ बॉल्स आर यूज ओके दो रोज ऑफ बॉल्स हैं ओके देर आर टू रोज ऑफ बॉल्स ओके तो बेटा यहां पे दो रोज ऑफ बॉल्स है ताकि इस तरफ इस तरफ दोनों तरफ इन बोथ वेज इट कैन रोटेट इन ऑर्डर टू अलाइन इट सेल्फ ठीक है इज दिस क्लियर क्या ये चीज अब क्लियर हो रही है ओके सो बेटा सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बेरिंग ओके इट हैज सेल्फ अलाइनिंग प्रॉपर्टी ओके एंड वी यू नीड दैट प्रॉपर्टी इन दिस टाइप ऑफ केस ओके सो दिस वॉज द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ बियरिंग सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बियरिंग द फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ बियरिंग इज नोन एज थ्रस्ट बॉल बियरिंग अब बेटा अंडरस्टैंड द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ थ्रस्ट बॉल बियरिंग ओके इन ऑल केसेस ऑफ बियरिंग द इनर रेस एंड आउटर रेस आर कंसेंट्रिक राइट इन ऑल अदर बियरिंग द इनर रेस एंड आउटर रेस आर कंसेंट्रिक You can see inner rays and outer rays are concentric to each other. Inner rays and outer rays are concentric, and the balls are placed between them. But in case of thrust bearing, in case of thrust bearing, the inner rays and outer rays are not concentric. दोनों concentric नहीं होते हैं. कुछ इस तरीके से होता है. They look something like this. ठीक है. and the balls are placed between them like this the balls are placed between them like this okay to beta concentric nahi hai ek dusre ke andar nahi hai they are parallel to each other you can see inner rays outer rays they are parallel to each other okay now thrust bearing thrust matlab kya axial load thrust means axial load so obviously thrust bearings are designed only to support which type of load only to support एक्सियल लोड ठीक है थ्रस्ट बियरिंग्स को हम यूज करते हैं इट कैन ओनली सपोर्ट इट कैन ओनली सपोर्ट एक्सियल लोड ठीक है थ्रस्ट बियरिंग की प्रॉपर्टी क्या है व्हाट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ थ्रस्ट बियरिंग दे कैन ओनली सपोर्ट एक्सियल लोड ठीक है जैसे यहां पे भी यहां पे अगर आप देखोगे तो लोड का डायरेक्शन विल बी Like this, axial load. Okay, यहाँ पे it is placed like this, so axial load. Is it clear to everyone? क्या ये चीज़ clear है सब लोगों को? Okay, so these are the four types of ball bearing: deep groove, angular contact, self aligning, and thrust ball bearing. Okay, and I am using real life pictures. If you look at the pictures given in the books, you will not understand anything. अगर आप इनके पिक्चर्स जो है इनके इमेजेस जो है वो बुक्स में देखोगे तो आपको कुछ समझ में नहीं आएगा कि ये है क्या चीज एंगुलर कांटेक्ट डीप ग्रूव फिर सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बियरिंग थ्रस्ट बियरिंग दे डू नॉट लुक लाइक दिस इन बुक्स बुक्स में अगर आप देखोगे तो ये बुक ये जो बियरिंग है ये इस तरीके से नहीं दिखती है लेकिन अगर आप रियल लाइफ में देखोगे तो फिर इस टाइप से दिखेंगे एंड इफ यू सी द रियल लाइफ इमेजेस देन इट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड राइट तो इसीलिए दैट्स व्हाई आई एम यूजिंग रियल लाइफ इमेजेस इन दीज केसेस इन ऑर्डर टू एक्सप्लेन आई एम यूजिंग रियल लाइफ रियल इमेजेस ऑफ दीज बियरिंग सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इजीली दैट व्हाट आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ द बियरिंग हाउ दे आर प्लेस्ड हाउ दे वर्क एंड ऑल ओके सो दीज आर द फोर टाइप्स ऑफ बॉल बियरिंग नाउ देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ रोलर बियरिंग ऑल्सो ठीक है चार टाइप के रोलर बियरिंग भी है चार टाइप के रोलर बियरिंग भी है तो सिलेंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग टेपर्ड रोलर बियरिंग स्पेरिकल रोलर बियरिंग एंड नीडल बियरिंग ओके चार टाइप के रोलर बियरिंग भी है अरे मेरे भाई जिनको थोड़ा ज्यादा जिज्ञासा हो रही है वो थोड़ा गूगल करके चेक कर लो ना यार थोड़ा गूगल करके चेक कर लो आप लोग हर चीज यहाँ पे पूछने से अच्छा है थोड़ा गूगल कर लो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट इट देन जस्ट टाइप दैट इन द गूगल एंड जस्ट वॉच द इमेज जस्ट रीड अबाउट दैट ना खुद से भी थोड़ा किया करो यार हर चीज पे एकदम डिपेंडेंट मत हो जाया करो कि सर आप ही बताओ सर आप ही करो सर ये क्या होता है सर वो कहाँ लगता है जो चीज मैं बता रहा हूँ वो तो आप लोगों को सुनना ही है वो तो समझना ही है बट इसके अलावा एक्स्ट्रा कोई जिज्ञासा होती है 
तो मेरे भाई थोड़ा गूगल करके देखा भी तो करो आप लोगों के पास इंटरनेट कनेक्शन है आप लोगों के पास अब सुविधा है कि आप हर चीज देख सकते हो ढूंढ सकते हो तो थोड़ा पांच मिनट निकाल के मेहनत भी कर लो राइट यू नीड टू डू दैट योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो राइट तो बेटा जितना आपको एग्जाम के लिए जानना जरूरी है वो मैं बता रहा हूं लेकिन इसके अलावा किसी को जिज्ञासा है जिज्ञासा होना अच्छी बात है ओके इट इज गुड टू हैव क्यूरियोसिटी लाइक दिस सर हाउ दिस इज प्लेस्ड हाउ वेयर द शाफ्ट इज फिटेड एंड वेयर इट इज यूज व्हाट आर द एप्लीकेशन ऑल ऑफ दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट इफ यू हैव गूगल इफ यू हैव इंटरनेट कनेक्शन वाई डोंट यू टू हिट योर सेल्फ दैट इज ऑल आई एम आस्किंग ओके सो आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट इट देन गूगल इट ओके and i can't use animation here right now so that's why i'm not showing the animation also and it will take more time and it is of no use to understand this why i animation that's why i'm not using them so if you want to understand how exactly it works then i told you you can google it you can search in youtube you can understand it very easily okay bura mat manna ki main daant raha hu ki sir ne bola ki poocho aur fir poochne pe sir daant rahe hain aisa bura mat man jana मैं सिर्फ ये बोल रहा हूं कि आप लोगों में जिज्ञासा है तो उसको शांत करना भी आपका ही काम ठीक है तो जितना जरूरी है वो तो मैं बताऊंगा ही वट एवर इज इंपॉर्टेंट आई विल कवर दैट ओके वट एवर इज इंपॉर्टेंट आई विल कवर दैट बट इफ यू वॉन्ट नो मोर देन यू कैन इजिली गूगल इट ओके सिलेंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग ओके अंडरस्टैंड इट्स अ टिपिकल रोलर बियरिंग इट्स अ टिपिकल रोलर बियरिंग सिलेंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग मीन्स द रोलर शेप इज सिलेंड्रिकल सिलेंड्रिकल द रोलर शेप इज सिलेंड्रिकल अब बालो अब आप बोलोगे इसमें क्या है ऑल द रोलर हैव सिलेंड्रिकल शेप नो बेटा ऑल द रोलर डू नॉट हैव सिलेंड्रिकल शेप इन सम केसेस द शेप इज डिफरेंट ओके दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज सिलेंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग ओके दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन एज सिलेंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग ऑल द बियरिंग डू नॉट हैव सिलेंड्रिकल शेप ठीक है All the bearings do not have cylindrical shape. क्या हो रहा है यार आजकल लाइक्स जो है वो सौ भी नहीं टच कर पाते हैं पचास पचपन साठ पे अटक जाते हैं लेक्चर एंड द लाइक्स डू नॉट क्रॉस हंड्रेड राइट लाइक्स डू नॉट क्रॉस हंड्रेड सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग वॉट इज हैपनिंग विथ यू गाइज प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन एवरी वन प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन अभी कोई एक बच्चा जो है वो डिसलाइक करते करते रह गया ठीक है एक डिसलाइक मुझे अभी अभी दिखा था बट फिर वो रह गया अच्छा हो भी गया डिसलाइक हो भी गया ओके okay. किसी को शायद पसंद नहीं आया मेरा बोलना कि आप लोग खुद से मेहनत करके जाना करो आप लोग खुद से मेहनत करके गूगल किया करो ठीक है मैं बता देता हूँ अगर आपको ये लग रहा है कि मुझे नहीं आता तो मैं बता देता हूँ मेरे भाई शाफ्ट जो है वो एक रेस पे लगा होगा ना एंड वाई इट इज केप्ट लाइक दिस बिकॉज यूजली इन केस ऑफ हॉरिजोंटल शाफ्ट जहां शाफ्ट हॉरिजोंटल होती है देयर थ्रस्ट बॉल बियरिंग आर यूज ठीक है यूजली देशेस वेयर द शाफ्ट आर हॉरिजोंटल सॉरी हॉरिजोंटल बोल रहा हूँ सॉरी सॉरी वेयर द शाफ्ट आर वर्टिकल क्योंकि यूजली शाफ्ट आर हॉरिजोंटल बट इन सम केसेस शाफ्ट आर वर्टिकल सो इन दो केसेस द एक्सीएल बियरिंग इज यूज तो बेटा शाफ्ट जो है इट इज कनेक्टेड टू वन ऑफ दिस बियरिंग जैसे ये ऊपर वाला बियरिंग है इसके साथ कनेक्टेड ऊपर वाली रेस के साथ कनेक्टेड रहेगा और नीचे वाली रेस विल बी सपोर्टेड इट विल बी फिक्स्ड सो डू यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ हाउ इट वर्क्स द शाफ्ट विल बी कनेक्टेड टू वन रेस एंड द अदर रेस विल बी फिक्स ठीक है अब क्लियर है मेरे भाई अब क्लियर है मेरे भाई <laughs> अब समझ में आ गया नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट वर्क कुछ लोगों ने अपना लाइक भी वापस ले लिया इट रीच टू 59 एंड देन इट केम टू 57 तो कुछ लोगों ने अपना लाइक भी वापस ले लिया किसी ने डिसलाइक किया तो वो भी वापस ले लिया कुछ लोगों ने लाइक भी वापस ले लिया कोई दिक्कत नहीं है नो इशू बेटा नो इशू दिस इज योर फीडबैक सो इट कैन बी पॉजिटिव इट कैन बी नेगेटिव इट डजेंट मैटर ओके आई वेलकम बोथ द फीडबैक्स ओके गुड फीडबैक्स बैड फीडबैक्स बोथ आर इंपॉर्टेंट टू मी ठीक है दोनों मेरे लिए इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं ओके चलो तो बेटा सिलेंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग्स आर वेरी सिंपल टाइप ऑफ रोलर बियरिंग्स वेयर द शेप ऑफ द रोलर इज सिलेंड्रिकल नाउ ड्यू टू दिस शेप इट कैन सपोर्ट ओनली इट कैन सपोर्ट ओनली रेडियल लोड ओके बिकॉज ऑफ दिस सिलेंड्रिकल शेप इट कैन सपोर्ट ओनली रेडियल लोड बिकॉज यू कैन सी दैट 
इन दिस डायरेक्शन देर विल बी नो सपोर्ट है ना इस डायरेक्शन में कोई सपोर्ट नहीं रहेगा इसको सो so, इसीलिए इस डायरेक्शन के लोड को इट विल नॉट बी एबल टू सस्टेन इट विल ओनली सस्टेन द फोर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके इस डायरेक्शन में ज्यादा फोर्स लगाओगे तो क्या होगा बाहर आ जाएगा मेरे भाई बाहर आ जाएगा सॉरी ठीक है चलो थैंक यू सो मच बिकॉज आई लव यू टू गाइज आई लव यू टू आई लव ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स आई लव ऑल माई स्टूडेंट्स ओके इट डजेंट मैटर इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो इफ यू डिसक वीडियो आई विल लव यू ओके इन ऑल केसेस सो बेटा दिस इज अ टिपिकल रोलर बियरिंग सिलिंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग नथिंग स्पेशल अबाउट इट ओके The next type of roller bearing is very important, which is known as tapered roller bearing. Okay, now understand it is very similar to angular contact ball bearing, because in this case also the contact takes place at some angle. Okay, this is a tapered roller bearing. Here the roller is tapered. Here the roller is tapered. It looks something like this. कुछ इस टाइप का शेप रहेगा ठीक है तो इसकी वजह से क्या होगा मेरे भाई इसकी वजह से क्या होगा द कॉन्टैक्ट विल टेक प्लेस एंगुलरली द कॉन्टैक्ट विल टेक प्लेस एंगुलरली एंड इफ द कॉन्टैक्ट टेक्स प्लेस एंगुलरली देन यू नो वॉट विल हैपन देन यू नो वॉट विल हैपन देन द लोड विल ऑल्सो हैव an axial component and a radial component so beta this can also support both radial load and axial load okay instead of writing radial axial radial axial i am writing fr and fa okay so it is understood right i can use this abbreviation right radial axial ke liye thank you so much guys thank you so much ayush thank you so much vikas Thank you so much, Swapnil. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I love you guys. Really, really, it means a lot to me. When we, when you guys are supporting me like this, it means a lot to me. It increases my morale. It increases. It boosts my energy. है ना? मजा आ जाता है ये देख के कि बच्चे इतना प्यार करते हैं, इतना सपोर्ट देते हैं. Okay. चलो. तो बेटा tapered roller bearing का case भी जो है वो एंगुलर कॉन्टेक्ट बियरिंग के जैसा ही है टेपर्ड रोलर बियरिंग में भी कॉन्टेक्ट इज टेकिंग प्लेस एंगुलरली यू आर गेटिंग एफ आर एंड एफ ए सो इट कैन सपोर्ट बोथ एफ आर एंड एफ ए राइट सो टेपर्ड रोलर बियरिंग एंड सिलिंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग दोनों में अंतर समझ में आया सिलिंड्रिकल शेप सो ओनली एफ आर टेपर्ड शेप सो बोथ एफ आर एज वेल एज एफ ए एफ आर एज वेल एज एफ ए थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच करण थैंक यू सो मच बेटा थैंक यू सो मच नाउ स्फेरिकल रोलर बियरिंग अब स्फेरिकल रोलर बियरिंग आर वेरी सिमिलर टू वेरी सिमिलर टू वॉट सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बियरिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो अल्फ अलाइनिंग बियरिंग यू कैन सी हियर ऑल्सो इनर रेस कैन रोटेट इट सेल्फ ओके अब यहां पर इन दिस केस इन ऑर्डर टू रोटेट द इनर सर्फेस द रोलर मस्ट बी स्फेरिकल ओके द रोलर मस्ट बी स्फेरिकल रोलर का जो शेप है वो कुछ इस टाइप का होता है ओके अंडरस्टैंड द रोलर आर स्पेरिकल इन शेप लाइक दिस तो मैंने आपको बोला था ऑल द रोलर आर नॉट सिलिंड्रिकल ऑल द रोलर आर नॉट सिलिंड्रिकल द रोलर आर ऑल्सो ऑफ डिफरेंट शेप सो दैट्स वाई सिलिंड्रिकल रोलर बियरिंग देन टेपर्ड रोलर बियरिंग एंड देन दिस इज अपेरिकल रोलर बियरिंग तो बेटा यहां पे आप देख सकते हो इनका जो सर्फेस है वो थोड़ा सा ऐसा स्पेरिकल होता है ऐसा थोड़ा सा स्पेरिकल होता है वाई सो दैट द इनर रेस कैन रोटेट द इनर रेस कैन अलाइन इट सेल्फ ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बियरिंग दिस इज ऑल्सो सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बियरिंग नाउ इट इज अ सेल्फ अलाइनिंग रोलर बियरिंग नाउ यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट वॉट विल बी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सेल्फ अलाइनिंग बॉल बियरिंग एंड सेल्फ अलाइनिंग रोलर बियरिंग The same difference between ball and roller bearing. Ball bearing and roller bearing में क्या difference है? Roller bearing has high load carrying capacity but also has high friction. Why? Area is more. So in similar ways, self spherical roller bearing, spherical ball bearing both have self aligning property. But spherical roller bearing will have high load carrying capacity. Spherical ball bearing will have low load carrying capacity. Spherical roller bearing will have high friction. Spherical ball bearing will have लो फ्रिक्शन तो दोनों में फर्क क्या है एक में बॉल लगा है एक में रोलर लगा है और जो बॉल और रोलर में फर्क है वही यहां पे भी फर्क है ओके 
Yes, yes, very good. So you understand the difference between self-aligning ball bearing and self-aligning roller bearing. We have self-aligning bearing in both cases, ball and roller, okay. Next case, now this one is a very interesting bearing, needle bearing. Ab needle bearing kya hai mere bhai? Yaha pe dhyan do, okay. Needle bearing is what? Let's say, let's say you have a very less space between the shaft and bearing surface. Understand? Let's say, let's say this is my support. Let's say this is my support. Okay. Let's say this is my support. Okay, and this is my shaft. So I have enough space in order to put the ball bearing here. Okay, I have enough space so that I can put the ball bearing here. Okay, I have enough space in order to put the ball bearing here. Okay, but let's say my shaft is like this. There is a space constraint. अब ये मत बोलना कि सर क्या दिक्कत है? Bearing को बड़ा कर देते हैं। अरे मेरे भाई, bearing भी कहीं से connected है ना? The bearing is also connected to something. So you cannot increase the size of bearing and you cannot decrease the size of shaft. So there is a constraint in the radial space. Okay, radial space. Axial space में no constraint, but radial space में there is constraint. Now we have very less space. Okay. So बेटा, if there is very less space then I can place very small rollers here. मैं यहाँ rollers लगा सकता हूँ लेकिन small. Now बेटा, if the size of roller is too small, then the load carrying capacity will reduce. If the size, if the space between the shaft and roller, if the space between the shaft and roller is very less, then we will be able to put only very small rollers. And if you put very small rollers, then what is going to happen? The load carrying capacity is going to decrease. So how we are going to compensate it? Isko compensate kaise karenge? We are going to compensate it by increasing the number of rollers. By increasing the number of rollers. So I kya karunga? Mere bhai, main roller ke size ko nahi bada sakta. To kya hua? Sankhya ko to bada sakta hoon. If I can't increase the size, I will increase the numbers. Okay. So instead of putting three, four big rollers, I will put a lot of small rollers. So can you see there are lots of small rollers here. So my load carrying capacity will remain same. But my size will reduce. Okay. So do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand the difference between cylindrical roller and needle roller? Cylindrical roller have cylindrical roller. Sorry. Cylindrical rollers also have cylindrical rollers. Needle rollers also have cylindrical rollers. Here also the shape of rollers is cylindrical. But what is the difference between cylindrical roller and needle roller? Understand beta. In case of cylindrical roller, cylindrical roller ke case mein, the rollers are big in size. So I will put less number of rollers, but big in size. Okay. But in case of spherical roller, the rollers are small in size. So I will put more number of rollers. Okay. अब कैसे पहचानेंगे कि कौन सा cylindrical roller, कौन सा needle roller वो तो अपने को पता है वैसे. But there must be some distinction, right? So बेटा, let's say this is the length and this is the diameter. So L by D, L by D ratio here is less than or equal to four. But here L by D ratio is greater than four. Okay. Length to diameter ratio. Length is four times of diameter. Okay, means or you can say diameter is less than L by four. ठीक है? मतलब मान लो length is let's say four centimeter. Then here diameter is even less than one centimeter. Okay, but here the diameter is between zero centimeter to four centimeter. Sorry, zero. Yeah, between zero centimeter to four centimeter. L by D is less than equal to four. Okay. तो बेटा यहां पे आपको अंतर समझ में आ रहा है तो नीडल रोलर बियरिंग्स आर यूज्ड वेयर 
नीडल रोलर बियरिंग्स आर यूज वेयर रेडियल स्पेस इज लेस ओके अब एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट चीज यू माइट गेट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस यू माइट गेट क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस दैट कैन दे कैन सपोर्ट ऑसिलेटिंग लोड्स लोड्स अगर ऑसिलेट कर रहे इट्स इफ द लोड्स आर वाइब्रेटिंग और ऑसिलेटिंग देन इन दैट केस Needle roller bearings are very good. Okay, they have this property where they can sustain high oscillating loads. Okay, so beta, this particular point is very important. You might get questions based on this. This point के ऊपर question आते हैं, ठीक है? तो beta, needle roller bearing की खासियत क्या है? कम space में ज़्यादा load carrying capacity. Okay, less space, more load carrying capacity, and they can support even oscillating loads. Okay, so do you understand? the different types of ball bearings and different types of roller bearings so today we saw what are bearings we saw what are rolling contact and sliding contact bearing i explained radial load and axial load brijesh you missed this slide beta so understand radial load means the load which is perpendicular to length axial load means the load which is in the direction of length okay so in some cases there are radial loads in some cases there are axial load in some cases there are both okay then i explained you what are the different types of bearing rolling contact sliding contact then i explained you rolling contact bearing i explained each and every type of ball and roller bearing theek hai to beta aaj ke liye itna hi aaj ke liye itna hi in next class we will see the design of rolling contact bearing we will also solve numericals okay next class will be tomorrow at 7:30 pm and we will see the design of rolling contact bearing and the numericals based on rolling contact bearing okay now a very important news don't go anywhere i have some information for you so a very important news we have started crash course on theory of machine a lot of students were asking me sir you have taught em you have taught som you have taught md you have covered all these subjects but theory of machine you have never taught so beta that's why specially for my students i have started crash course on theory of machine it started on 14th of december ठीक है फोर्टींथ ऑफ डिसंबर से चालू हुआ है मंडे टू सैटरडे एवरी डे देर विल बी टू क्लासेस वन एट टू पी एम वन एट थ्री थर्टी पी एम ओके दीज टू विल बी डिफरेंट क्लासेस नॉट द सेम क्लासेस रिपीटेड ट्वाइस अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक कि सर या तो दो बजे आना है या तो साढ़े तीन बजे बट ऐसा नहीं है मेरे भाई गेट का एग्जाम नहीं है कि किसी का फोर नून में किसी का आफ्टर नून में बेटा यू नीड टू अटेंड बोथ क्लासेस ओके One and a half hour class at 2 p.m. and 3:30 p.m. Okay, and it's a special class on an academy. It's a special class on an academy. And where you will find the link? You will find the link either in my Telegram channel. Join my Telegram channel. Open your Telegram app and search for Approve Ten, and you will get the link. Every day I am posting the link. Or you will get the link here tinyurl.com/approve ten. Just open your web browser. ठीक है? I will show you. Just open your web browser. अपना वेब ब्राउजर ओपन कर लो जैसे ये गूगल क्रोम है ओके जस्ट ओपन गूगल क्रोम एक मिनट मेरे भाई यस ओपन गूगल क्रोम एंड टाइप टाइनी ओ आर एल डॉट कॉम स्लैश अप्रूव टेन ओके एंड यू विल ओपन दिस ठीक है एंड यू विल ओपन दिस एंड इन दिस यू विल सी देर इज अ Tom crash course Excel sheet. If you open this, then you will see that there are links of all my classes. Come again. There are links of all my classes. Open any link. For example, velocity analysis part one, and you will go to this crash course on theory of machine velocity analysis part one. It will start in seventeen hours three minutes. Okay. Notify me. Click on this. Notify me. Okay. Click on this. Notify me. They will ask you to log in. so if you have registered on an academy you can directly log in if you have not registered please register yourself okay so beta very easy to watch my special classes very easy to watch my special classes and 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 we are starting a new batch from 28th of december for gate 22 gate 23 so if you want to attend those batches if you want to prepare with the legendary teachers on an academy platform then take an academy plus subscription agar aap legendary teachers ke sath apna preparations 
स्टार्ट करना चाहते हैं अगर आप उनसे डाउट्स पूछना चाहते हैं इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क योर डाउट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क योर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट practicing with them if you want their personal guidance then you take an academy plus subscription where you are going to get live classes all the live lectures in english as well as in hindi you will get weekly test you will get doubt solving session you will get crash courses and what not so it's a complete package why an academy plus it is not mandatory you can prepare on your own also because whatever you need for preparation we are giving you on this channel itself everything is here but but if you have any doubts then who will you ask your doubts to if you need any guidance then who will be there with you so that's why we have an academy plus okay so an academy plus pay आपको जो गाइडेंस मिलेगी ऐसा नहीं है कि आपका बिना गाइडेंस के काम नहीं चलेगा बिना गाइडेंस के कोई प्रिपरेशन नहीं हो पाएगी बिना गाइडेंस के रैंक नहीं आएगी नो no. बट अगर गाइडेंस मिलती इफ यू हैव द गाइडेंस ऑफ द एक्सपर्ट्स देन बेटा यू विल नॉट मेक द मिस्टेक्स विच अदर पीपल डू यू विल नॉट मेक द मिस्टेक्स ऑफ लिविंग द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स यू विल नॉट मेक द मिस्टेक्स ऑफ स्टडिंग द गार्बेज आपको फालतू की चीजें पढ़ने की नहीं जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी आपको इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें आपसे छूटेंगे नहीं तो ये सारी चीजें जो है आपका टाइम सेव करेंगे ओके इफ यू हैव द गाइडेंस ऑफ एक्सपर्ट यू विल सेव योर टाइम यू विल सेव योर एफर्ट सो दैट इज वाई द एक्सपर्ट गाइडेंस इज देयर ओके so beta an academy plus complete package for you and if you want to go one step ahead then you can take an iconic subscription in iconic subscription you get a personal coach who will be there with you 24/7 he will be guiding you he will be preparing all the study plans for you he will be taking one on one sessions he will be analyzing all your test score and he will be preparing study material for you so this is one step ahead of an academy plus अब अन अकेडमी प्लस के प्लेटफॉर्म में ऐसा क्या खास है सो अन अकेडमी प्लस इज इंडिया नंबर वन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म राइट नाउ ओके एंड वॉट इज सो स्पेशल अबाउट इट्स प्लेटफॉर्म देर आर मेनी फीचर विच शुड बी देयर फॉर एन एजुकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म यूट्यूब इज नॉट एन एजुकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म सो यू विल नॉट फाइंड दीज टूल्स हियर बट अन अकेडमी इज स्पेशली बिल्ट ओनली फॉर एजुकेशन सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विच यू कैन डू हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ देर इज एन ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन अगर कोई ऑब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन है देन द टीचर विल क्रिएट पोल्स where he will give you 2 minutes 3 minutes to answer so a b c d let's say you answered okay so there will be a leaderboard which will show you your rank and your time timing within how many seconds you answered and this will create your scorecard so whenever there will be a class and there will be questions solved in those classes there will be polling and leaderboard like this so there will be a healthy competitive environment in the class which will help you to manage your time which will help you to manage the pressure of exam which will help you to answer these types of questions okay so this will be a very good practice for you throughout your preparation you will be doing this then the second thing live interaction with the teacher so beta here also you can comment but the difference between these comments and these comments are these comments have lag okay when i say something you will hear it after some seconds and whatever you write i will read it after some seconds so there is a lag but here the classes are completely live 100% live no lag so whatever you are whatever i am explaining you will get it instantly and you can write everything so you can ask your small doubts sir ye kya hota hai ye kya hota hai you can ask those types of small doubts and it will be easier for me to read your comments simultaneously teaching here but here it is not possible because here i am watching the camera so that's why it is not possible for me to read your comments simultaneously doing this okay now you can ask your small doubts in the comment section but if you have a big doubt then you can take the image and you can send it in the form of picture so beta this will save your time and effort you don't you can't share the equation you can write the equation you can draw the image here so that you can so you can take the image of that question and you can send it here so your educator will see that and he will solve and there are dedicated doubt solving session so that none of your doubts will be unanswered aapka koi doubt chhoot na jaye iske liye dedicated doubts classes hain every fourth lecture is a doubt solving session so none of your doubts will be unanswered all your doubts will be covered by the expert faculty okay even there are some doubt solving batches where are, where there are only doubts asked by the students which are solved by the expert faculties okay and there are multiple batches you can join and you can join all of them here there are some batches by the legendary teachers 
the top educators of an academy you can watch my batch also there is a target 22 batch then there is a all star batch for gate 2021 then there is a rank booster batch there is a target esc batch and soon we are starting two new batches beta for gate 2022 and gate 2023 it is starting from 28th december two new batches starting from 28 december and all these legendary teachers will be teaching only the top educators will be teaching in these batches so if you want to join these batches then all you need is an academy plus subscription so download the an academy learning app register yourself and take the subscription there are different subscription plans okay one month se leke two year tak ka subscription plan is there okay now if you open this then they will ask you enter a referral code if you have a referral code for example my code is this approve 10 so if you enter that here and proceed to pay then you will see that automatically you will get 10% off after using my code you will get 10% off so you can see 30250 will become 27225 here 44000 will become 39600 so instantly you will get 10% off and the the advantage of using this code is you will get my support throughout your preparation i will be supporting you guiding you oh, throughout your preparation you will be my personal attention you will be under my personal guidance okay so whenever you use this code i will get the notification mujhe directly notification milegi aur aap mere guidance mein rahoge main aapko full support karunga theek hai so beta take this one year one and a half year and two years plan only okay if you are preparing for 22 take one year or one and a half year plan and if you are preparing for 23 take this two year plan okay why because beta first of all per month cost will be very less and you have these awesome batches a lot of awesome batches and you can take part in all these batches so itne sare batches mein se gyan batorne mein time to lagega na that's why take these long term plans okay so beta don't forget to use this code while taking the admission and soon 28th december se we are starting the batch so that's why beta join as soon as possible prasad beta it is better to take subscription as soon as possible jitni jaldi loge utna zyada acha because 28th december se the batch is starting so take the admission right now start your preparation with us as soon as possible the early you rise the early you will get to your target theek hai jitne jaldi uthoge utne jaldi apne target ko achieve kar paoge okay so isiliye mere bhai jitna jaldi ho sake apni preparation chalu karo jitna zyada time aap doge apni preparation ko utna achhi tarah aap prepare kar paoge so that's why take as soon as possible this step i will see you soon on academy plus but till then hit the like button share the link with your friends and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for joining i will see you tomorrow till then bye bye take care good night